Son, Grizzly McBee here, and I would like to thank you for listening to and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast number 160, our season finale. And as always, I'm joined by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the gray beard himself, Wildfire One. The gray beard. I think I kind of feel like this is going to be a video game thing in the future. I'm just going to call myself gray beard. Because it does fit, like, honestly, I, I also have a really cool, uh, a really cool, like, pirate cosplay, and I think I'm just going to make myself well, Greybeard. That and your wizard costume as well. Yes, yes. Or my space wizard costume, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> but Obi Greybeard Kenobi. Obi, well, hello there. We're glad to have you along uh, with us. We're on the season finale for season eight, man, like. One of the big things about this episode, though, is it is a big boss episode, but it is going to be the final episode for Newgrounds. And we want to say a fond farewell to Newgrounds. We love you guys. We love Newgrounds. We started there, and we appreciate everyone here on Newgrounds. For those of you who want to continue listening and watching us, we have YouTube, which is the links are in the bottom, and we also have Anchor if you want to continue just listening to us. And Anchor's got us on like uh, what 11 different platforms uh so that there's a you know i think we're even on like spotify so you can well, listen to us there if that's what you just want to do or if you want to see our beautiful faces and the stupid shit we do between you know making faces at each other you can watch us on youtube because we do the vlogs there man yeah a few moments of silence for new grounds we are going to miss you Before we get on to the topic, let's talk about nerd news. What's new going on? What's what are we have we what have we been playing? What have we been doing? How have we been up until this moment in episode 160? Grizz, you start. Uh, we've been cracking out on uh, Deep Rock Galactic lately. Yeah, we ain't got to play it the last few weeks because of busy life stuff, but we've been definitely yeah. enjoying it. Cracking out on that. I know we were been talking about wanting to do a series in Ark Survival. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about an Ark Survival game, which if we last the first few minutes, you know, right? Uh, or if or if like pterodactyls or, or birds don't take our shit and kill us all, fuck those things. But yeah, we're we're kind of like doing a survival series in Ark. I still we still got to do more on the forest too yeah, we still have to finish the forest from time to time we're still kind of streaming fallout 76 yeah it, one thing that we haven't done at all this year hmm. is fucked around on gta 5 you know what we haven't and gta 5 has been giving a lot of fr i've been getting the free money every month up until it came on uh, playstation 5 i i got about like 12 million dollars just sitting away sitting aside because of that shit uh actually i bought some stuff and then and then went back and got more got the money back because of this free money shit but we haven't played any gta 5 and seems like forever mm -hmm. had to have been a year had to have been a year oh if not more yeah. if not more. not more i know we've still been talking about Doing some live action skits. Mm hmm. Uh, you're trying to get uh, Reese in on it. Oh, Reese, you know, would love it. He's just got to get the time. Yeah. And, it, and it's getting all four of us together. As another issue, but yes. Yeah. Uh, we just got to do them. It's. The last few times we got together and we talked about filming, we decided to drink. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna never got around and filming. Never got around filming. Any, any new games you've been playing, Grizz? Anything new? Oh, well, I just started um, Ghosts of Shishimi. Shishimi? The go yeah. The, uh, well, it's the free one for the, for the month of March, right? Shima. And that looks pretty cool. I got a buddy at work who's wanting me to play some Destiny 2 with him, but. I'm sorry. I got another buddy at work who just got Ark when, you know free to play with us as well okay well he's more than welcome to maybe he can join us on our on our thingy thing that we're planning 
if it's a friend of yours, is more than welcome. I just don't, you know, I just don't like randos. <laughs> well, we kind of explained that what last last episode where, you know, baby girl of doom, I'll do anything. <laughs> love you and uh i hope whoever did that sees this sees us giving him shit because like the whole the whole reason he got us to get to play with him was he's like oh man i'm not weird i'm cool i'm like super cringy super creepy yeah like and it was i don't know man like you've heard of guys on the internet who like you're a girl and go ape shit well, this guy did yeah. exactly that with Baby Girl of Doom, and it was just bad. Nerd news. Expect to see the challenge video between Monster and myself in the next few months. The challenge announcement? That's cool. Getting that together. He will lose. I will not lose another challenge. <laughs> I'm enjoying my winning streak. That's all I got to say. Every touch challenge I've been in, I've... And I'm not try. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag or boast i'm just i'm just making a pact i was i eventually i will lose and it won't be pretty i'm excited to see what you guys come up with we talked about some ideas last week at the end of the podcast and uh th- there's gonna be some interesting interesting stuff when they choose what they want to do so, as wild said we are going to be taking our year hiatus um well be a year uh we will be starting back up on our podcast again in november so expect season nine with episode 161 Mm -hmm. to start at the beginning of november yes i mean it doesn't mean we won't have some pod some news podcasts between if we if we find something to talk about it's very um rare that we do, but when we when there's something we're talking about, we'll we do our best to kind of make a podcast on it. Um, you expect, of course, more gameplay videos, but yeah. So we got we have plans. We got plans for games. We got plans for uh, some gameplay. Uh, you can watch Grizz stream. You can watch me stream. I know that Ice Cold. I think just about everyone that ha- that that's a crew member for Nerds New Sexy Entertainment has their own streaming platform which is where you'll or you know on twitch you'll see him there you will mm-hmm. he's he's got plans to play some some single player games and you'll probably play see him play a lot of multiplayer games with them mostly playstation no. games though yeah um you'll be a pc man one day anybody out there would like to donate a bitchin uh gaming pc we have a number that you can call that you can call we'll give you that at the at the end of the podcast you can call and um leave us your details we'll get a hold of you <laughs> grizzly wants a pc he really does i got him addicted to fez that's the start of it all where's the door where's the door i remember the first time listening to that when i was watching reese stream and it scared the shit out of him when you made that the notification for a new subscriber where's the door where's the door is is never gonna get old scared the shit out of me i know it scared the shit out of reese when you did the when we would do the giggle and all you had to do was like like the video or something and you're ha without further ado let's get into the the meat and potatoes of the podcast we're going to be talking about the book of boba fett um I thought we were talking about the Mandalorian chapter. T- oh, yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I'm not, okay, we're not going to bitch completely about it because, re- I mean, it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't amazing. It was really good. It was really good. Yeah. I think the issue is, and before we get into this, some of the story and, and what we liked and didn't like, I think some of the issue is, is that they, they, they hyped it up, right? They hyped it up pretty big. And they got us hyped up on it, and then they gave us the... At the first, like, first two episodes. It just gave us... Well, it was kind of like his backstory. After the after Sarlacc pit. By the butthole worm. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not going to lie. I liked him coming out of the Sarlacc pit, and it showed how he survived it. We all wanted to see that. But, like, everything after that with the sand people, and, and some of that was cool, but it was very slow, um, which was not what we're used to. From a show that's gonna that, that 
came out kind of a spinoff of the Mandalorian. You know, uh, we see action in the Mandalorian all the time. Now, I will say this: it was backstory, and it was, it was the the slowness was needed to tell some of that story. Yes, very much so. But it was just too slow. Like it was. It's almost felt like they're giving us some information that just was bullshit and they're never going to bring up again. You know, like I, I would say my biggest dislike of the entire series, and I know that's something that that you and I talked about already. The input of the Power Rangers on scooters. Yes, um, those characters were not needed. I get why they put them there. I get, and I kind of like the backstory, but the fact that they did. Five teenagers with an attitude was <laughs> pretty fucking like we didn't need that because if you, and you even look at you look at you look at the guy who plays Boba Fett without his helmet on he looks like Zordon because <laughs> he's laughing because it's so true and then you got five motorcycles with different color just it, what are you doing man what you think because that is, I've never seen anything like that in Star Wars I like the pigs better the pig dudes. I like them better than that group of fucking teenagers. I was kind of sad when... They yes. Were, yep. The Pick Brothers, yeah. Did they die, though? Like, do we never saw their bodies. With Star Wars, is anyone really dead? Nobody ever really dies in Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? It, it starts out okay from the Sarlacc Pit to the, the Sand People, and you get to kind of get to see some of the bad guys that are on, what, Tatooine? It, you know, as far as like syndicates go, and and then it's just you could tell it felt like they just needed to bring something else in, you know. And and of course, what are they gonna do? They'll bring in fucking Mando, and then we find out more about like Grogu. It became like what Grid said, just another season of Mandalorian. It was, it was like what they gave us, and and really this sh- this should have been about Boba Fett. We should have seen more Boba Fett. I do I do I hate that they put it in? Uh, you know, I see for the bullshit it is, but I'm glad that he's there because we did get some amazing story that could have waited to to mandal to the next Mandalorian season. I was thinking about this. I think you and I talked about this off podcast a while back. The fact that you know Grugu was out of the picture, like what's next? You know, it, again, it's the part that should have been in the Mandalorian, but but it was. Book of Boba Fett. It just didn't feel like it should have been there. I I liked seeing the ship that he ended up getting. Oh yeah, the the uh, old Nabu cruiser or whatever space. Yeah, I was. Oh dude, where's Jar Jar? They yeah. <laughs> I I was excited to see that too. Like Mandalorian Mando ended up getting a new ship because his old ship got all fucked up, right? So. It was like, you know, and I kept thinking, why, what are they, because they took out the droid pod and made it like an extra room. And I'm like, oh, you know what? That's big enough for someone. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I, I, yeah, I wasn't. So, you know, we got to, we got more Grogu. We got to see more um, Luke Skywalker, who this time, I guess the guy who deep faked his face on YouTube, because, you know, he, he showed that he could do it better than uh, how they did it on, on that season two finale of the Mandalorian when you know when they used Luke and he kind of looked dead-eyed they ended up using this particular fella on this uh this season of the Book of Boba Fett when they brought Luke back and it honestly it looked good it did it looked really good the other one the one for for the Mandalorian was good it's just the eyes looked a little off like there's certain things you're like hmm and it was nice to hear Hamill speak as young Luke again you know you could kind of see how much more wise Luke's become to an extent. Uh, but you can also see some things that like, cause he offers Grogu a lightsaber or something that was forged for him by Mando. He's basically saying, choose me, choose the force or choose a, being a Jedi over your possible daddy. And, uh, you know, you don't, we don't really find out who Grogu chose till the end. And, ah, you know what? Watch it. We won't spoil it for you this time. Like they, they, like I said, they ended up showing all the syndicates. We even got to see the huts at one point. Uh, you know, I, one of the things that really kind of bothers me about the book of Boba Fett is that Boba Fett was supposed to be this hard ass in the first, you know, the first three movies. He was supposed to be this like really cool, hard ass, like 
badass bounty hunter that had all this these tricks up his sleeve and he was fucking cool and he was infamous for being you know who he was uh either he got soft or he just wasn't the badass he was supposed to be they brought i'm glad that they brought cad bane back into it if only to show that he had a proper end and then we learned he actually trained boba fett and that, that was that's cool hopefully you know if they do a season two of uh, the book of boba fett they add they would just have more boba fett because I, that's a lot of people were curious about what was the fate of Boba Fett, and especially after the Mandalorian. Honestly, after Tatooine, being on Tatooine, if he had a chance to leave, with the exception of what happened with the Sand People, <sighs> Grizz, would you leave after that? After the Sarlacc Pit incident, if you were Boba Fett, honestly, I would. He, I wouldn't want to live there, dude. That's my thing. Like, some of my worst memories are on this planet. And what am I going to do? I'm going to take the Hut's fucking place? No! Fuck that! Let them have that shit! Go find yourself a fucking amazing planet and set up shop there. Right. I'd be like, fuck that. There's I, I, I spent how long in a Sarlacc's fucking anus? I'm cool. Like, I'm, I'm done. I'm out. Deuces. Fuck you guys. I think one of my favorite parts is... Um, when he finally gained the trust and respect of the Tuscans, brought him in as one of their own, and they trained him in their way. At the same time, he was training them in his way. They became his surrogate family, in a way. And one of the things I will put out is that, other than maybe like some of the books, you really, you know, I'm talking from the cinematic universe you really don't know much about the Tuscans. You just know that they're always pissed off and shooting at shit. In the Book of Boba Fett, it kind of explains why. Yeah. They were the Native Americans of Tatooine. Yeah. The Tuscan... Yeah, I agree with you. The Tuscans are really... Tuscan Americans. Tuscan Americans. <laughs> the Tuscans are very much the Native Americans of kind of like this series. And uh, they never... They kind of just stayed... Where they were, they didn't. They didn't use spaceships. They they kind of used like rifles in a way, but uh, they really didn't use any mo- like technology modern for that for that uh, show. Yeah, no, they really didn't. Like they went and dug up that gave them water. Yeah. They rode the big mouth woolly mammoth. The big mouth woolly mammoth. Uh, yeah, and what was what about that? What do you think about that scene that got ended up getting a meme where he's riding the the speeder bike and he's trying to teach them, and he's like like a banta, and he does that shit. It was so funny. <laughs> but it was it was a funny scene. I know I laughed my ass off at it. Uh, in a, in a sense, it was like trying to train, like. It was like like you or me going to to Africa, yeah. Like the Swahili tribes or whatever that still live off the land, don't use technology and all that, and trying to teach them how to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, and it, that's why I was like, that's probably the most understanding. Like trying to, he's what he's trying to do is he was trying to find a middle ground. So, what do you think of like some of the plot? Well, like with anything with Disney these days, when they buy out. There's always going to be different things that nerds feel shouldn't be changed. Like we already said, you know, the adding in the cyborg Power Ranger scooter patrol. That's a good question. Why? A lot of this felt like they were just making it up on the fly. Like a lot of it felt like it was last minute stuff they put in. I give it another... I don't know, three to five years, and Cyborg Power Ranger Scooter Patrol will probably have their own show. <laughs> you know what? You're probably right. It's going to be like Star Wars Power Rangers Scooter Patrol. Um, <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have some sort of background you on it. You end up naming it that, and I don't get my my just desserts. <laughs> We're going to have an issue because <laughs> this is going to be on the internet for all to see. Exactly. That's just one of those things that they added where I know it wasn't just me. It was a majority of everybody watching going, 
why? How are these people relevant? Like, what? how are they going to change the show? Exactly. And you know what the problem is, is I think that they just put, there was too much at one time for that. Like, those were five, six, seven new characters that we didn't know about. You just gave us a little, back, you just gave us a little backstory for them. Like, and that's it. Yeah, that was a very disappointing part of the series. Uh, yeah, a little bit after they get introduced, it gets better. Like, again, like we said, it had to bring the Mandalorian in, which, honestly, I think was a cool idea, but he didn't need half the series. Like, yeah. he, you know, half the season. Like, because we got, we got, what else is coming out? We got uh, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi coming out sooner. I'm excited for that one. But now I'm wondering if they're going to blow it. That it is Disney. What'd you think of the ending then? I I liked the ending. Um, it kind of showed the unification of Boba Fett's empire there on Tatooine. Because you know we found out who really could keep their word and who couldn't. Those that couldn't keep their word, uh, well, they won't be around for. Chapter two of the book of Boba. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will say this: it had a cool mafia feel to it. And towards the end, especially, yeah. like, yeah, towards the end, especially. I like the fact that he got a Wookie. He did. He got a Wookie. And I, there was a point where I think he saved the Wookie's life. That I'm like, fuck, watch, he's gonna have a life debt. The, yeah, the bat, the fighting in the last episode was. Uh, there was some really cool, uh, rancor fights really want to punch the writers of of the book of Boba Fett yeah well what bothers you well what okay why do you want to punch him you said earlier that you you thought it was a decent series I mean it was but the more I hear you talk the more I I remember snippets here and there of what pissed me yeah there was there was a lot like I would even be go so far as to say I'm glad they killed off Cad Bane. Yes. Uh, that way we know what happened to him in the end. But I also I, I just thought that that I'll say that that, that was good writing in that case. Um, that was the Cad Bane th- situation was probably the direction they needed to go with the Book of Boba Fett to begin with. Like the first story in the first few episodes where he's telling they're telling us about the uh, Sand People. Is I, I, really, I really think that that could have been like a later on kind of story. Give maybe the first episode he gets out of the Sarlacc pit and then it stops on where it shows one of the fucking sand people can't get him or something. And then poof, you go to the story. You can do the story toward, till towards the end of the season. Then you give us a little more of the sand people arc. I mean, like I, I just gave a good example of how I thought it'd be better, but maybe that'd make it worse. I don't know. I mean, I, I like how they did it. Um, I think they could have added storyline to it, or backstory. But I, I think that there was a lot more that they probably could have and should have added to it. It felt rushed. It, it did, especially the last few episodes. I want to see more Finnick. I actually like that actor. I liked her in uh, when she was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, you know, May... I really like that character, and I really like your character she's playing in this one, too. It's interesting to see the relationship play out between her and Boba. Yeah. Because, you know, he needs her not just as you know, a right hand, but as a companion. A close friend, right? Yeah. Because he, he, has, he has feelings for her. Yeah. He, he does. I think he, I think he does too. And and throughout the the, the and you can see that you know, she really had a choice to make: go out and do her own fucking thing, or stay and help somebody who actually cares about mm-hmm. her. And then you could see that her feelings started growing more towards him. I want to see some baby fets. That would be interesting. It'd be cool to see those two. Yeah, you know what? I could ship those two. Those two are... I Clone just never... Clone Wars 2. Clone Wars 2. Clone Wars 2. Of the, the book of Baby Fett. You know, this. it almost didn't feel like the show... Like Boba Fett was in the show that much. 
Is there anything else you want to talk about with it, Grizz? I'm interested to see where it goes from there. I'm just hoping that some of the content they're bringing us, because they're giving us big names like Ahsoka, you know, that's going to be a show. They're giving us um, Obi the Obi Wan Kenobi. That'll be fucking great. I'm really excited to see that. Uh, we'll see. Am I excited to see these next series? Fuck yes. Am I excited? Was I was I happy with the Book of Boba Fett for the most part? Content. I'd give it like a seven. Six out of ten. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was going to say. Probably a seven, seven point two five. Yeah. Like, it wasn't great, but it wasn't it wasn't shit. We need some good Star Wars content. I think every generation could use some good Star Wars content. So, uh, with that said, Grizz, is there anything else you want to talk about? Is there a number you want to mention and before we say our goodbyes for this season? There is. If you like to call and Leave us a message just to say hi or talk shit. You want us to watch something, play something, eat something, review something. It's cool. And that number that you can call and leave us a message is 559-997-6803. And if you're just now tuning in to the end of this podcast, towards the beginning... I asked if anybody had a gaming con uh, PC, they would like to donate to your favorite Grizzly McPee. Uh, call that number. Leave your details. We'll call you back. My name is Grizzly, and I need a PC. So here's my number. <laughs> so call me, maybe. Oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, uh, next season will start, like you said, in November. I guess that's the end of this podcast. Again, guys, we thank you for listening. We thank you for watching. Those of you on Newgrounds... Come visit us on YouTube. Don't we have... We have a, tw a TikTok account now. Do We do have a TikTok account. So if you guys want to see some behind-the-scenes stuff or just some stuff that we do just to be funny, we got a TikTok account. So, okay, guys, we'll end the podcast here. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. We'll see you next... <laughs> season on Nerds New Sexy Entertainment. We hope to have you there with us then. We'll probably have some episodes in between depending on some nerd news like we said before but till then we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.